Hi. First of all, I want to thank you. About a week ago, I passed the 1,000 subscribers mark, and that's thanks to your support. This fact and the many nice comments I got from all of you are a real motivation to continue making content for my YouTube channel. Over the last few months, I've mainly focused on cargo bike content, and I will certainly continue to make cargo bike content. But I would still like to cover more aspects of the world of cycling. Like, for example, the interview in this video with Pascal Mageren. He has a blog about crazy and unusual bikes that he started after a bikepacking trip with his two brothers on a triplet bike. His blog is in French, but he also already published two books which are in English and French. If you want to support him and me, you can find the link to the two books in the description below this video. And now, without further ado, hi Pascal, can you introduce yourself to us? So, my name is Pascal Mazren, and um, I started a blog on special bicycles 10 years ago. Um, and actually, it's quite a long story, because it started 20 years ago um, with a special um, bike trip to Canada with my two brothers on a triple bike. Um, actually, I, um, I studied languages and traveled, I uh, used to travel by book uh, with my two brothers uh, to learn languages. Um, so we made different uh, trips in Europe and um, around the Netherlands, south coast of England, uh, Wales, uh, Switzerland, um, Iceland for two months. And the dream was to, to cycle the three of us on one bicycle. So we let it made. Uh, by an old man in uh, Liège, uh, and we traveled for five uh, weeks in Canada uh, in 2002. And actually, it was just a dream for us to, to cycle that way, uh, but we never expected the way people uh, uh, would look at the bicycle. And uh, five weeks long, we had um, the impression we came from another planet, just because people were looking uh, that way. So uh, I work in communication and uh, also as a journalist. So I wanted to know why, why such special bicycles get uh, so much attention, uh, why it's so universal. Um, yeah, when when you see uh, an object like that, um, you 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 look at it and. Um, so, uh, regardless of age, uh, social class, or nationality, it's universal. Um, so, started research uh, on bike-inspired creativity, uh, interviewing people, writing a lot, and um, then I found quite a lot of, of uh, interesting projects, creative projects around the cycling world. Actually, I was frustrated uh, because yeah, on the internet you can find great websites with uh, nice pictures, but yeah, it's quite uh, it's not that often that you can find the great stories behind the project. So uh, I started the blog uh, 11 years ago, and philosoph.be, and my aim was it was um, an editorial project, and my aim was to show up people are, uh, all creative people can be with always the same components. Uh, and so each week I published um, an interview from someone around the world uh, dealing in a creative way with bicycles. And um, in the meantime, I think I, I published uh, about 300 uh, posts on special bikes. Um, and yeah, it started like uh, an editorial project just for fun. Uh, giving more exposure to these great stories that never get public attention. Uh, and in the meantime, yeah, that small project uh, evolved. And uh, so five years, six years ago, I, uh, I published the first book. Um, last year, the second one. Then um, also uh, starting with uh, exhibitions with uh, special bicycles for bike shows, for example, or cooperation with a cultural center um, around, yeah, creative, crazy bicycles, um, then giving conferences and uh, that kind of stuff.
When I started uh, about 10 years ago, um, there was someone in uh, Switzerland who started a, a bike uh, shop on the same, uh, under the same name. And um, this guy also produced a, a beer, a uh, Velozov beer. And um, as I was uh, traveling around Europe promoting my uh, first book, uh, people uh, contacted, uh, were contacting me for, for the book and me for the beer. So it was, <laughs> yeah, uh, fun. And um, uh, as I was um, on holiday in, uh, in the Alps in uh, France, um, yeah, we made an apartment. It was not far, that far from uh, Genève. And uh, it was a great encounter with uh, two people sharing the same passion. And uh, so we decided to collaborate and uh, I become the distributor for Belgium. Um, yeah. So it's um, an extra product on creativity, bicycles, fun, and uh, yeah, beers, books, uh, great bicycles make uh, one great story.